the president of Barton Laser Leveling, and we're located in Hermiston, Oregon. When we first started out in business, uh, we wanted to stay a small company in our local community. At a point in time, it comes where you need to expand out and, and, and bid on jobs farther and uh, farther away from home. So at one point in time, we, we had spread out clear across Oregon, Washington, and Idaho. We've been able, really because of technology and the way that we do business, have been able to be very competitive, be very diverse in business that we do. We like to do a total package that includes site clearing, uh, grading, the demolition on the front side, and, and we like to provide a finished product. So we're there, we're typically the first guys in and the last guys out. Our jobs can range from, from $10,000 to $3 million. Our fleet core group is uh, probably 15 machines right now, over half having technology of some sort on them. Uh, we've got a great relationship with our cat dealer. They've been very good to us. Their service has been great. We spend a lot of time together. We, we talk about business structure and plans together and, and talk about growth of the company. I could probably go on for hours and talk about the advantages of technology and talk about things other than just production other than wear and tear savings, other than operator fatigue savings, other than, than increase in yield of, of, of understanding materials and products in the field. Uh, all of these things are, are really a contributing factor to the success of technology. It's been fun being on the leading edge of the technology curve because it's given me a lot of years of, of advantage, uh, not just in the use and how to, how to implement technology, but years of, of saving in being able to do things faster, better, cheaper, and not have to give that money away to my competitors. If, if you don't have some level of technology uh, to save the labor, to save the fuel, to save the wear and tear on your equipment, to be able to put down the right amount of material that you have in your bid, um, it's too tight out there, it's too tough. I'd like to think that we're good, but, but it's the technology and, and it's really the people behind the technology that, that helps us understand it. You really have to work with a dealer that's got the, the people on staff that can help get you set up right. And, and one of the things I really like about SciTech, and especially the, the SciTech dealer that we deal with, they have those people. Randy Stewart with SciTech uh, has been wonderful. I know his background, he comes from a survey background. Uh, he understands the technology and the application of technology. And then when you back him up with guys like David Dieter on the service side that, that know the machines like they know them, wow, uh, what a winning pair those two have been for me. They're a phone call away and, and they don't have to send me on to other people, they can answer our questions. The people that are really successful are the guys that have the multiple machines, they have the in-office support staff to build the models and to help answer the questions for the guys in the field that, that have challenges. If I could tell anybody, you know, why I'd want to get into this and not, is you got to look at the whole picture. It's not just the production. It's not just the yield savings. Uh, it's the whole picture on the return on investment.